Hello everyone, my name is Uthpala and I'm a graduate student at the Department of Physics and Astronomy at West Virginia University. This is a brief introduction to PyProCar, which is a Python library for electronic structure pre- and post-processing. Generally, the results from a density functional theory calculation is in a numerical form. The idea behind PyProCar is to take those numbers and convert them into a more comprehensible graphical representation such as a band structure or a Fermi surface using very simple single line commands which will be shown throughout this presentation. PyProCar was initially based on the ProCar format as generated from the VASP DFT code. This represents the projection of cone charm wave functions onto spherical harmonics at each ion, each K point, and each band. For spin non-collinear calculations, these projection blocks are repeated for each spin direction. Here are some of the main features of PyProCar, which we will discuss throughout this presentation. It's available on the Python packaging index, so one can install it with PIP. Currently, PyProCar is compatible with VASP, Abinit, Quantum Espresso, and ELK. One of the main features of PyProCar is band structure plotting. There are a few modes for plotting bands as shown here for the material strontium mandate. The plane mode is the most basic, where only the band energy is plotted along a K path. Next, we have the atom projected mode as displayed here for the vanadium atom to see the contribution from a selected atom or a list of atoms onto the band structure. The orbital projected band structure projects the orbital contribution from a selected orbital or a list of orbitals onto the band structure. This is the mode that I personally use the most to select the one-year energy window for correlated orbitals to use in dynamical mean field theory calculations. Finally, we have the spin projected band structure which displays the spin contributions to bands. Other features include the ability to combine multiple projection modes and also the ability to export plots as matplotlib objects that allows the user to perform further processing of the plot, and also to plot multiple band structures on the same figure. The 2D spin texture plotting is a helpful visualization to investigate spin orbit coupling effects such as Rushba and Drusselhaus spin splitting. The spin texture can also be represented with arrows instead of a color map. The Fermi surface of a material contains a plethora of information crucial to understanding its thermal, electronic, and magnetic properties. Similar to band structures, PyProCar is able to plot both plane and projected Fermi surfaces as seen here for the material magnesium diboride. Another interesting feature is the ability to plot projections of external data such as Fermi velocity electron phonon coupling and the effective mass projections on the Fermi surface. Spin textures coming from non-collinear spin calculations can also be displayed on the Fermi surface as seen here for the materials bismuth antimony and strontium vanadate. The band unfolding feature of PyProCar is useful to analyze band structures of supercells where the bands are convoluted due to the folding of bands as seen here in this figure. Once the bands are unfolded, it is easy to compare the doped band structure with the pristine as shown here in the example of vanadium doped zirconium diboride. A recent addition to PyProCar is the ability to plot partial density of states. One may also plot the band structure and density of states on the same plot using simple syntaxes.
The filter feature in PyProCar filters projection data to reduce its size to speed up processing and overcome memory issues. Some other notable features of PyProCar are KPath generation, merging of multiple ProCar files, fixing formatting issues of the ProCar file, and calculation of the band gap. If you would like to learn more about PyProCar or have questions, issues, feature requests, you can contact us through any of the following links. We have a GitHub repository, a community forum, article, and a documentation. Thank you.